Hello everybody, welcome to this very special video. It is my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. Saturday the 17th marks 10 years from when I posted a video of me trying to cook spaghetti bolognese. Have you seen this video? No, I'm just looking at the camera because my head's cut off. I just don't know. The height difference is going to be a bit tricky in this video. I posted a video of me trying to cook spaghetti bolognese, age 19, about to go to university and live by myself, and I needed to learn how to cook. Now I'm 29 years old, and I have a husband to cook for me, who just so happens to make a mean spaghetti bolognese. So that's what we're going to do today. In honour of that first video, we're going to do a 2021, 10 years later, version. Anything to say about my anniversary and spaghetti bolognese? Congratulations. Thank you. And we're going to make spaghetti bolognese. I don't know how traditional it is. Yeah, but the one you make tastes good, doesn't really matter. The sauce base is, basically, if you can get it tasting like beef and tomato, you've had some success, so that's basically what we're going for. There we go. So normally I leave Dan to make his spag bowl and he'll like prep it all and then it will literally be simmering for hours but today dan is not doing anything and he is instructing me and i will be doing it all it's, really it's mostly chopping and i love chopping before we get into the spag bowl i completely forgot to mention in this video that on top of all of the fun videos i'm making for my 10 years on youtube celebration i'm also reopening my shop and so i have got a whole bunch of old merch from over the years. You may remember the Do I Look Like a Slut poster, Drunk Advice poster, some banging book club stuff, like lots and lots of cool stuff. Oh, the Linda Blacker photos of me in my underwear and my stoma. <laughs> Everything is 50% off to celebrate. If you use the code SPAGBALL, mm -hmm, you will get free shipping, international, anywhere. I don't care <laughs> where you live. And then I've also created mystery boxes if you want to get a bunch of stuff and it will be a bit of a surprise. Okay, back to the spag ball. Right, shall we begin? Yeah. You can tidy that up and I'll start chopping an onion. Yeah, so you're gonna want onions, celery, carrots. Do we have celery? Yeah, the ratio is two parts onion to one part carrot to one part celery. But you don't weigh them, do you just eyeball them? Yeah. Depending on the size of the onions, you can do one or two. I don't even know, like, people in there like, you do a terrible job of it. Oh, you worried that people are gonna judge us for getting bolognese? I can tell you now, it tastes delicious. There's nothing wrong with it. Don't worry. Self-conscious. Aww. Oh, and pro tip, get a pan on now. Start heating up. Oh. This is a cast iron. I think the Yanks call it like a Dutch oven. And then, cause cast iron takes a long time to heat up, we'll just start that heating up now. 12% mince. You don't want the really lean stuff, because fat is flavour. <laughs> Fat is flavour! Some celery. So you're worried about people judging your recipe. I'm worried about people judging my cooking and chopping skills. And some carrots. <laughs> Might have some mushrooms as well, because you've got some mushrooms in the, in the fridge to um, use up. That's more umami. Hannah never peels her onions enough. So uh, feels so wasteful. It's not wasteful if you're getting rid of something that doesn't taste good. I think it's fine. Mm, it's fine. Oh, it's happening! I was doing so well! Oh. Right, what am I chopping now? Carrots and yeah, celery? Peel, peel carrots. Oh, I love peeling. So we basically want half the amount of carrot and celery to this. Yeah. I can't say if my chopping skills have improved over the last 10 years, but my taste buds have. Have they? <laughs> Are you basing on the fact that you eat black pudding now? <laughs> in the video, in that first video, I, at the beginning, started by listing off all the foods that I do not like to eat. Really? Yeah. Mm. I'm like, I don't like carrots. No, no, not carrots. I like carrots. I don't like tomatoes. I don't like mushroom. Um, I don't like aubergine. And I think out of those three, 
aubergine is the one that I still like not a fan of, whereas mushrooms and tomatoes I can do now. In mm. certain contexts. Celery. So celery, pick out a couple of good stems, just break them off, give them a little wash. How's our pot doing? That's nice and warm. So in fact, before we cut the fruit, we're gonna start browning off our mints. Brown the mints! Any oil in there? No. Dry. There's plenty of oil in the, there's plenty of fat in the mints. You need to, you need to, <laughs> you need to. I like that. Don't break them up too soon. Oh, right. All right. Okay. Right. So, so what am I doing? you'll turn it into mint mush at that point. Okay. We want to keep some of the texture in the mint, so just let them cook out for the time being. All right. So, top tail, split down the middle. Celery's one, but never used to like. Honestly, still don't like, except for in your bolognese. See, then what we're already seeing in here is we start getting some fat. Rendering out. Oh, and important. Salt it. Pinch of salt and a little bit of pepper. <laughs> Showmanship, Dan. So in here, we're starting to get some. Uh, hopefully, the bottom of this should start to get some carbs. So instead, we're just now going to pull the mince apart. But we want to try and keep the strands roughly together. You don't want it to turn into mush, basically. Cool. So then your celery can go in your pot as well. Cause we're not going to need that. Yes, yeah, so now we're just kind of waiting on the mince, really. Okay, so during that little break, our beef mince has cooked out and we boiled a kettle. That's basically what's happened. Now what? So in a moment, we are going to transfer our mince into our separate bowl and then we're going to cook off of it. So yeah, just tip your mince out. We're then going to... Yay! Have a little bit of terrible olive oil in there. Oh yeah, sorry. I got the cheap stuff and Dan isn't happy. Let that olive oil just pick up that heat from the pan. The pan just stay nice and hot. And then we're just gonna go in with our veg. You want this at like a medium heat. You don't want to cook it too fast because we want to give our vegetables loads of time to really soften because that's what's gonna make it nice and sweet. Ah! It spat at me. So I'm guessing it's hot then. Yeah, so should I put them in? Yeah. Okay. Right, good pinch of salt, in with your spoon, and give that a mix. We want to get all the veg coated. Now what? And this is going to cook out for 10 to 15 minutes. Don't put a lid on it just yet because we want it to cook. We want the moisture to come out of the vegetables. We don't want to stew the vegetables. Okay, voice of God. Welcome back to <laughs> spaghetti bolognese. Uh, so it's been like 10 minutes. Our veg has nicely softened according to Hannah. Yeah, it's softer. Softer. How than soft, it was. Softer. Give me a small piece of carrot to peel. Hot potato, hot carrot, ow, fuck. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> You burn, you mean? Okay, so now what? Put a little bit more salt in it. This is the bit that I'm bad at, it's Not like flavouring. Yeah, give that a little stir. Okay, so now what we're gonna add is a little bit of our tomato puree. We have veg, which as you can see has trunk. Was it the passata next or the puree? Next? Nope, so we're gonna add some tomato puree. A good squeeze, that's the best measurement I'll give you. I'll tell you when. Oh. Uh, a little bit more, that'll do. Okay, this has been cooking for a minute. Right, cool. So now we're gonna add some red wine. Oh. So we wanna deglaze the bottom of the pan with the red wine. Uh, you want about 100 mil, something about that. I don't know how to eyeball 100 mil. It's cooking instinctively. Oh, I don't know, is that 100 mil? Nah, that's not 100 mil. It's like 25 mil. Get in there, get it in there. That'll do. Okay, so all that do, use that to like clean the pan. Oh, you want to Oh my god, yum. You want to catch all of the flavour for those who are interested. This is a random bottle of wine left over from Hannah's book launch. Two and a half years ago. No, one and a half years. Almost two years ago. So all we want to do now is get rid of some of the alcohol in that wine. We want to get rid of the alcohol now because when we come to actually cook it off, we're going to put the lid on. How do you think it's going? So far, so good. Um, if I were to recreate this again myself, I would need measurements and timings, please. How much 
tomato puree was that? How much red wine was that? Honestly, no idea. I would just have to get a fresh bottle of wine every time and just do it up to the label. Cool. So this is simmering. Yeah. So we're just boiling the alcohol off. Oh, I feel like I should also mention that um, the video from 2011 of me cooking spaghetti bolognese, it's on my other channel, Hannah Witten. That's where the 10 year anniversary is. If you're really, this channel that we're on right now only been around for like two years. Um, but I've been on YouTube for 10 years and also that video is now uh, unlisted. Um, my patrons have access to a whole playlist. I think it's like over 100 videos on that playlist of old unlisted content. Now what we can do, so we can add our mints in. Now? Yeah, add our oh. mints back in. <gasps> so mints back in. To be honest, the order of this stuff, you can probably really do it in any order. As long as you add the uh, tomato paste before you add the liquids, just so you can cook it off a little bit. It really doesn't matter. So then what we can do is we can add in our passata. The whole thing? Yeah. If you prefer, you can use tin tomatoes, work just as well. And then... It's starting to look like bolognese. And then do we do the thing where we fill this up with boiling water and then... Add yeah, that in so you know stuff. that's like 500 mils. So I use the stock pots. I think they taste a little bit better than the stock pots. <laughs> than the stock cubes, sorry. <laughs> uh, He's talking about these. So you can chuck in one and a half of them. Actually, just chuck in two. It'll be fine. Flavour. Just chuck in two stock cubes. It tells you to dissolve them beforehand, but what's quite nice with I find with these stock pots is they melt anyways. So if you just chuck them in something, oh you can, even if it's pretty dry, you can actually put them in no. and then add some cream in and you can actually get some pretty nice, uh, pretty nice flavour and nice and easy. So this whole thing? Yeah, just be careful not to burn yourself. Ow! Give it a stir. And then this is when you put in your herbs. So I think we'll use some dry bay leaves. Fresh basil also works, oregano. Any green herb really you can put in this, it'll be fine. How many, like three, four, five, six? Uh, checking like three. Nothing else? That's literally our only herbs that go in? Mm -hmm. And then all we're gonna do is now let it cook for, I would say minimum two hours, gold standard like four. And then what we wanna do is get it up to a simmer. We'll put the lid in, drop the heat down a little bit and then let it simmer for however long we want really. Until we're hungry. All you wanna do is just check it every 30 to 45 minutes. Fantastic. Oh, but all you should do is just taste it now. Oh, yes boss. This is the other part of cooking that I'm terrible at. I never taste. So we taste it. Have a little taste now. Fuck me. Tastes horrible, don't it? Yeah. Really horrible. <laughs> we'll see you in... Wait, what time is it? It's like 20 to 4 now. We'll probably give this three hours, I think. Yeah, we'll be eating. Yeah, that means we'll be eating at like half six. See you then. <laughs> okay, great. Um, it is three hours later um, and it's ready. Is it ready? Have you tried it? I just go. Tastes like dance bag ball. Tastes a lot different to what it did three hours ago. Yeah, for sure. Okay, kettle is boiled. How do you do your spaghetti? Do you like make sure that the water in the pot is boiling before you drop the spaghetti or? Yes. Okay. Why would you not do that? I, I didn't realize there was another method of doing spaghetti. Basically every time I do pasta, Dan um, complains that it wasn't salted enough. And then the next time I go and do pasta, I like put in way more salt than I normally would. And then Dan says it's still not salty enough. So how much I just put in then? More? The rule is it should be salty like the sea. For Passover recently, I um, put in, <laughs> I've made my salt water too salty. <laughs> yeah, it needs more salt. Okay. Okay, that's quite salty enough now. Yeah, it's perfect. The rule is it's salty like the sea, but you don't actually want it as salty as the sea. You want it as salty as your memory of the sea. I don't know what, I've not seen the sea, Dan, in over a year. Oh fuck me, that's salty. Oh my god. Yeah, you wouldn't drink that, that would kill me. Ugh, you swallowed it. Are you gonna die? You have to drink quite a bit. <laughs> but you drink salt water and it kills you. Yeah. We have achieved the rumbling boil. We have. Pasta in. Pasta in. Dried pasta, nice and easy. I would recommend fresh pasta. Why did you not put that in the correct way? 
What is the correct way? You grab it and hold it down so it lays in a spiral on the, on the bowl. Oh! You can't do it now, it's already floppy. Let me see if I can demonstrate with slightly damp pasta. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. So if, I know. if you have your pasta like this and you're holding it and then you just drop it, it will like lay out in a spiral. You give it like a slight twist as you drop it and it'll all around the end. Okay, you could have told me that before you saw me like pop just emptying it. Unfortunately, yeah. Hannah, as often I've overestimated you. <laughs> I honestly think that sometimes one of the things I'm lacking is a bit of common sense. All submerged. Okay, right, Thank 10 you. minutes. And then we get to eat! Oh my gosh. This is heavy! I already have the column in the sink. Woo! Ow! Did you hurt yourself? It splashed back up at me. Give it a little giggle, just get you, get some water out. And then plating, tongs. Tongs? But I don't have this no, pasta. No, better. You tong it. Give it a little twist as you, and then let it, and then twist and let it fall onto the plate. No, not what? <laughs> I couldn't twist my wrist any further. Give it a little twist. <laughs> and then, oh, back to the plate. And then just let it like, go. I don't know how, what I did was any different. No. <laughs> Just the way you throw it onto your face. You're so nervous. Okay. Dinner is fucking ready. So this was a bit of fun, but also I do want to get reflective and introspective about being on YouTube for 10 years. So if you have any questions about that, then please pop them in the comments and I'm going to film a Q&A, which will be out next week. How did you do, Hannah? Honestly, don't know. Did you make a delicious bolognese? Well, I already know that it's not the best because Dan tasted it and said, it's not my best, as if it's yours, <laughs> and also that it's shit. <laughs> it's still delicious though. Not all good. But you're right. It's not as good as the ones you make, and I don't understand why. I don't know. I think because you made this. I think it's confidence. <laughs> it probably doesn't it taste The ingredients good. can tell. Really, the question is, did you make a better bolognese than you made 10 years ago? Oh yeah, for sure. It took me a long time. What, I don't even know what was the recipe 10 years ago. I had courgette and aubergine in it. Were you just following a BBC Good Food like recipe? No, I, I was just like copying what I had like just remembered seeing my parents do. I mean, to be fair, you can chuck anything in this sauce and it will be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I'm always very confused about is when I see vegetarian bolognese, because to me, bolognese is very much a beef sauce, as much as it is a tomato sauce. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But otherwise. I'm sure there's some good substitutes out there that I care little for them. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. I'm so dark in this shot. <laughs> you can barely see me. Hello. Um, thanks to Dan. Thank you to you. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna have dinner now. Bye. <laughs>